Hey, my love bugs. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I'll be doing a hair tutorial for you guys. It's definitely going to be beginner friendly. I'll be featuring this beautiful blonde lace wig courtesy of Eunice Hair. They sent this over in a beautiful 13 by 4 lace wig and I'll be installing her from start to finish straight out of the box. So if you're interested in seeing all the tea, keep on watching. So here we are at the very beginning and this is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. As I mentioned, this is a blonde hue straight lace wig. It has the dimensions of 13 by 4 and and of course I have it linked in the description box. Here's a look at the inside construction of the cap. I love how they included the adjustable elastic band and they did do it in this like complimentary tan color that'll complement the blonde wig. A dark brown or black elastic band definitely would be an eyesore and easy to spot. So this is definitely definitely a great attention to detail. This is what the wig looks like on. Uh, the lace was a little bit too long so I'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit off just so that I can see as we begin to customize the wig. First step for me is going to be just to cut out the excess lace around the ears you never want your wig to sit on top of your ears so you want to make sure it, you cut around your ear to make a perfect fit now i'm just going ahead and trying it on for size and just kind of seeing like what i'm doing what's the game plan are we going to keep it as a center part are we going to style it as a no part you know what do we want to do i decided to go ahead and keep it as a center part and i did go ahead and clean up the hairline because it's blonde you can barely see it you can also barely see the lace this lace surprisingly complements my complexion very well sometimes it's very 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 hard to make a blonde wig melt or blend with brown skin but today I'm gonna do my best to give you guys a very easy beginner friendly way to make yours look good from home and kind of pull it off without doing too much work one of the most important things is to move your natural hair out of the way if your hair is dark brown black red it doesn't matter what color it is if it's not blonde you want to go ahead and make sure that you use a good edge control uh, or whatever product you like the most to really just pull your hair back and just really really slick it down this is definitely going to help to make sure you camouflage your hairline so that no one can see your dark brown roots now i'm going to go ahead and bond it down and of course you guys know i'm going to go for a glueless install featuring a extra hold hairspray the one i'm using today came from target and it's by the brand bedhead and i applied it generously on top of the lace exactly where i wanted the lace to sit i went ahead and added a melt belt on top so that it can begin the process of drying while i work on the rest of the hair and now i'm going to go ahead and use something a little bit different you guys know typically i do my dynamic duo which is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb and this duo definitely works very well to step out your parting and to tame your flyaways because this is blonde hair and when it comes to blonde hair even when it's extensions or wigs you definitely will find that it gets a lot more oily faster and sometimes even a little bit more frizzy because of the heat damage um so i did not really want to use wax today i wanted to try something different by using a hairspray now i like the fact that it got it flat and it definitely gave it a hold but it definitely did not tame the flyaways like i would like it to but again i was trying to just do something different especially because i didn't want to weigh the hair down too much so we are going to work with this but next time i definitely will do the dynamic duo and just be a little bit lighter with that wax stick now i'm going to go ahead and just straighten out the hair using the chase method to really soak the hair out i did not really use much product on the ends you guys seen i did use um, a little bit of a hair oil on top to tame that frizz that i was talking about um but i again didn't want to use too much because even if it's a dry oil you don't want your blonde hair to look streaky or you know too oily by any means and this is what it looks like when you straighten it out it's not a huge difference but to me it makes a huge difference when you get your wig straight out of the box even if it's like silky straight still run over it with a hot comb or a flat iron and it'll make a huge difference in making your wig just look a lot more natural and custom to you then i went ahead and just finished the drying process of the lace with a little bit of a fan this is a travel fan and it's kind of quiet because my husband was asleep and then I went ahead and just removed the melt button you guys can see the lace has melted pretty well I'm going to use this foundation palette from Ruby Kisses to just go ahead and tint the lace now you guys can see what a huge difference this makes it makes it look like the lace is a lot more skin light but because it's a lot more apparent that you like added a product I did go on top of it and set that cream product with a powder that way it doesn't move or you know 
know, get on the actual blonde hair because again, you'd be able to see it if that cream product kind of like moves or slides. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on the hairline. You guys know it's very important that your hairline and your edges look like they're coming out of your scalp. Again, I was trying not to use the wax stick, but if I could go back, I definitely would have used my wax because it just looks so much better to me. But I did go ahead and use like this Pantene, I think it's called like a flexible hold hairspray paired with the electric hot comb and again I like the way it came out but it's just not my typical dynamic duo so it wasn't as perfect as I can get it from here you can see how well uh, the lace looked and how good it looked it you know and just I made it look a lot more melted um and then I went ahead and set it with a little bit of a foundation powder the same one I set the parting with and this was the look I definitely could have added some curls to this and styled it up really nicely you guys know I was itching to add baby hair to really really camouflage that hairline like I like I wanted to give you guys a little bit of variety because I always add baby hair but I didn't but I'm definitely going to go back after the fact and add baby hair because it's just my jam here's the packaging that Eunice provided you got your box with your wig caps in it you have um, a pair of lashes in here and then you also have this nice jewelry which I'll show in just a moment you also got this mesh bag which had a lot of extra goodies in it including another HD wig cap um, a Eunice logo melt belt and then you also have this travel kabuki brush which is perfect for your purse. They actually loaded me up with an extra pair of lashes and I almost forgot to show you guys the jewelry. Now they have jewelry, which is amazing. I have a necklace, I have the ring and I have the earrings and these are um, Eunice logo earrings, which is very nice and special. I love them so much. The wig you can find in the description box and also here is the dust bag. They gave me so many goodies I kept forgetting, but thank you guys so much for watching. Check the description box for a link and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.